subscribe to our youtube channel and hit on bell icon to get the latest updates on qa automation side hey welcome back guys so in this section let us talk about another design pattern called strategy so this is one of the design pattern which allows us to select an algorithm at run time okay so right now with this definition you may not be clear so let's go back to our editor where we are resuming our framework stuff so here i will try to explain where exactly we will come across this strategy design pattern and then we will come back and read these definitions again just to make sure we understand this design pattern clearly okay so the overall theme of this design pattern is that it should allow us to select an algorithm at run time okay um right so in the last section we have written a test which will actually go to the uh, different footer navigation and header navigation and get you whatever you want right so we accomplished this using single responsibility pattern design pattern now let's say i want to select or check availability of the bookings so there are different ways that you can book a ticket one is a one way and you can also book a ticket with round trip and fill the details and you can also book the ticket with multi city option okay so there are three different ways now let's focus on automating this section flight booking section okay so this section is basically to check availability of your flights based upon what uh, algorithm you need if it is a one way round trip or multi city based upon what input you provide we should be able to check the availability so to accomplish this if you ask us to uh, put it in a place using single responsibility pattern uh, let's create three classes one way round trip and multi trip so let's create three classes just like how we have created page components for footer navigation and navigation bar and in each class the logic related to that section will go so if you select multi city then all the methods which are related to multi city operation will go to multi city class and round trip will go the operations will belonging to round trip class okay so there are three different classes and all these three different classes will be operated from the base home page okay so from base home page we will send um, the related information to these three methods just like how we have done uh footer and navigation bar now if you want to write a method called check availability so this method let's assume that this method will fill all the details so based upon what you provide here origin destination if you provide these details this method should go and uh, fill all the details and it should click on search button let's assume that because check availability is something which will fill the details and click on search so that we will know the availability like if flights are present or not okay so if you want to implement this method so this implementation will be different for one way round trip and also multi trip okay so for these three activities the implementation will be different right because multi trip you can see you can provide multiple options like this and round trip calendar will be enabled for one way i think it's disabled so there are different operations almost they are same but each method gives us a different functionality so if you if you ask to accomplish or achieve this we will do something like this travel home page dot see this is all what we learned i'm just revising and here i will show what is the drawback in this process and i will also show how to enhance this process using strategy design pattern so one way check availability right let's write something like this if it is round trip then we will say round trip so of course you need to create respective classes as well and this is multi trip multi trip so same how we have done for footer and navigation bar we will achieve something like this now question so this is good but can't i achieve like this 
travel home page um, dot check availability around it so this looks simple right so in your test case which one do you think that makes more sense so one way is that you have to route to your round trip multi trip classes and in those classes you have this method instead why can't i do like this when i say like this it is just like um for travel home page if you want to get a links count um i mean to say like this get links count footer this is how i'm asking can't i do like this so earlier to get links count we went to footer navigation and got links count and we get we went to navigation bar and got links count now i will directly use get links count method in travel home page based upon what section i need this class has to reroute me to that class and execute that method okay so let's think if it is possible or not if you take get links count in your travel home page for example let's assume that get links count if you write a method like this some people will argue that okay it's very easy so based upon the string what you got from your test case string uh, algo you can say algorithm whatever algorithm you get back and you can say void one second yeah if algo dot equals just follow me you will understand the problem um round footer then you can go and create object of that footer navigation here so new footer nav dot get links count this is one of the way to accomplish this okay so basically if we want to achieve in this fashion get links count of footer so you can send string like this yeah you see that now error is gone now get links count method is present in travel home page based upon footer text what you provide if it is footer then it will ask us to go to footer navigation section and execute get links count method this is one way but if you do like this you are breaking single responsibility pattern design okay because this class what does this class do this class responsibility is to just um send the information to related components but here we are not just sending information to related components we are executing methods of those components also in our class okay if you do like this then you are breaking srp principle right so get links count method why are you executing in this travel home page that should go into related page components okay so if you want to achieve in this fashion you are breaking srp design pattern so can you do this without breaking srp design pattern okay this looks good this looks very neat but we should able to achieve this without breaking this pattern or without you know uh, executing this method in your travel home page class so this can be accomplished using um strategy design pattern okay we can do this without breaking srp principle using strategy design pattern okay so now we will read the definition again so definition says that is a behavioral design pattern that allows us to select algorithm at run time the algorithm here is a footer so when you create a footer related class at run time when this method gets executed you should be able to redirect to that um footer navigation page component and execute this link count it should come here and execute based upon the input algorithm what you provide from your test that is strategy but the way what we achieved is not good because here we are not sending the algorithm to footer nav we are just executing this in our base home page by calling that method by breaking srp principle so this 
is not allowed but still let's achieve this using this design pattern so now we will use and implement this strategy design pattern so for that we will create one interface okay so to to accomplish this concept we need to rely on interface because uh, let me explain you something here so what is the step this is invoking chrome browser right so basically web driver is an interface chrome driver is a class so this class is implementing the methods present in web driver interface so web driver have exposed a get method it do not have any implementation so this interface has given get method so all the classes it could be chrome driver or firefox or internet explorer driver all these classes have their own implementation of this get method by extending this interface because these classes are extending this web driver interface and implementing all the methods present in this web driver so get is a method implemented by chrome driver so that when you use this method the browser will get invoked similarly this web driver interface is also implemented by firefox driver so firefox driver also have one get method so all these drivers use their own web driver methods implementations okay now to create object you can either do chrome driver because basically here we are creating the object of this class so that you can use the methods of this class like driver.get driver.find element then why are we not writing like this because to create object of any class this is how we write a syntax right but why are we writing like web driver because here um, web driver is an interface basically all the methods of this class are implemented by extending this web driver interface right so here return type can be either web driver or chrome driver it's just because all the methods of this class had an implementation from this web driver now so chrome driver class have a get method which is extended by this web driver interface and chrome driver also have another get method overridden method that is specific to its class okay so in that case if you want to call a get method which is not extended by web driver then to call this get method you have to use chrome driver only here because that is nowhere related to web driver but if you want to call a get method which is extended by web driver interface it's safe to call this way so that it will point out to this get method only okay i'm just telling you why we are using interface here and how classes are extending this interface so here let's talk about this so instead of having this check availability method in all these classes i will create one interface and then i will define this check availability method there okay so all these classes will have their own implementation of this check availability isn't it so multi trip have another way of handling this um check availability you have a pop up and you have multiple edit boxes and round trip have different way let's take these two classes for now so i'll create one interface let me create it very quick so under abstract component right click new java class and here i can say search just follow me you will understand avail let's write search flight avail and this is an interface okay and here i will create one method called check check avail and let's say it takes string origin string destination two fields okay so this is my interface and now classes have to implement this interface according to their availability okay according to their screens they should available right because all these three functionalities ultimately have to implement this check availability okay 
here they have to fill all the details and search to see if flights are available so here contract is same that all these flights has to go through this but implementation logic is different for each and every functionality or you can say for each and every algorithm here for multi city the implementation is different for round trip implementation is different but both have to implement this check availability method right to check the flights so we will have one interface which says check avail and then i will create now two classes under this page components only uh, we can say new java class and let's call it as multi trip okay so basically now this class have to extend the interface multi trip so if you want to implement the interface then you have to use keyword called implements implements what is your interface search flight avail right and when you call this you get error that it clearly says implement methods so it is forcing us to implement um, this check avail method okay that is why we have implementing this interface because here or either multi way or round trip or one way these three guys have to implement this search avail feature so that one can fill all the details and click on search button so basically we wrote one interface with abstract method and when you implement that interface you will be forced to implement this method just like in your web driver okay so web driver is interface just like search flight avail okay so web driver guys also have written one get method like driver dot get so this will not have implementation okay now when you create a firefox driver like this multi trip and implements web driver you will be forced to implement all the methods present in that web driver so that's how you implement get find element find elements everything okay so that error will be present if you remove this it complains that as you are implementing that interface go and implement the methods okay so here where you have to write logic related to the check avail now this is a multi trip you can write i am inside multi trip so let's create um another class with round trip copy i will use the same details but instead round trip okay so nothing different here also it is implementing the same interface but the check avail method in round trip have its own implementation okay so here it will take care of filling these two fields but when you go to multi trip this will take care of filling it own fields we did not still write algorithm right now i'm just printing it okay we will soon go and implement a method to fill all these details um in round trip i would write it as i am inside a round trip all right so now you understood that we have own implementation in these two classes now what next so i am doing all these so that i will be able to achieve something like this at the end like check availability of round trip just hold on uh, continue with me within one or two lectures you will understand how i am accomplishing this feature without breaking the srp design pattern subscribe to our youtube channel and hit on bell icon to get the latest updates on qa automation side